Hey guys, it's Diamond and today I am here to do a Diamond Talks video. In this video, I'm just going to be kind of telling you guys about me and my experience with moving out when I turned 18 years old. I do get a lot of questions about if I live on my own and how am I able to live on my own and blah blah blah. So yeah, I'm basically just going to go over some quick little things. I didn't write anything down, I'm just going off my experience and right off the top of my head. So yeah. I moved out of my parents' house when I was 18 years old. Um, I, Me and my mom did not have a really good relationship when I was in school up until I moved out. So when it came time for me to graduate and I was 18, I was in a super big hurry to move out. Um, whether anyone else knew that or not, I knew I was ready to get the heck out of my mom's house. We, came, we discussed an agreement where I would move out by some date in October. I moved out in September. I graduated in June. So June, July, August, September I moved out. So basically what ended up happening was toward the end of my senior year when I was coming to graduation, I started like looking for a job. I ended up finding like just a little quick job that was minimum wage which in Nevada is $8.25 an hour and I worked there part time and saved up enough money to move out. Before I saved up enough money to move out I made sure that I got a car. So if we want to go in order I would definitely say if you aren't past this point when you're a senior get a job try to get a job, try to have a job in high school so you can already be saving up money. I only had a couple months that I had that job to save up some money because I don't know, I don't know where my mind was at. But um, definitely if you're a senior or even a junior and you wanna start really like stacking your paper, I would definitely say to get a job. It can be any job. It can be anything. You can work at McDonald's. You can work at... I worked at a pizza place. You can work anywhere. It really doesn't matter as long as you go and get the money and save it. So moving out is super expensive. Sorry if I'm all over the place, but I, like I said, I'm just talking off the top of my head. It's Diamond Talks. I'm talking. Moving is super expensive, especially when you first move in. There's activation fees, there's deposits, stuff like that that you have to pay for. So even if you're only paying $800 a month, every month, your move, your moving in is going to be more than double that, a lot more than double that. Generally, there's like a deposit that's like your first it's like you're it's like gonna be the same amount as what your rent is plus you pay your first month's rent plus you have to activate your utilities and stuff and have them in your name and stuff like that and um also sometimes you will need i don't know what is it called like renter's history if you don't have any renter's history it might make it harder for you and you know credit mm. All types of stuff like that so the next thing I would suggest for people especially young people is roommates if you have someone that you can trust that's reliable responsible forget your best friend forget forget that forget your bestie whatever it are they reliable and responsible are they do they have money are they gonna have their bills paid on time because look if you guys are splitting everything in half you need them to have their half in order for you for it to work it's not gonna work if you don't have your half so i definitely feel like roommates is very important and it helps you out so much to have a roommate so if you can find someone whether that be Maybe someone you work with or someone that you go to school with or a good friend or a family member, whoever it may be, find a good roommate. I definitely suggest that because it just helps. It splits everything in half and possibly even someone that has already lived on their own and they will have like information for you. So I feel like that's really good um, information and you know, help, any type of help is really good. So I feel like roommates are important. A job is definitely important. If you don't have a job, don't try to move out. I'm sorry, it's it doesn't make sense. If you don't have a job, don't try to move out. The first thing you need to do is get a job. The second thing you need to do is get a car because in my mind, there's no point of moving out 
if you don't have any transportation like you you have a place to live but like you don't have any transportation you know what I mean so I would definitely say go for a car first when I moved out right before I moved out I just got went on Craigslist and got like a little $800 bucket car and it lasted me a year so I would definitely say go get a little cash car hit up the auctions if you have enough to put and you have credit and stuff and you can put down a down payment a little cheap down payment on a car on like a used car or something get a car but i i would go against getting something with a car note because you're gonna have to get used to paying bills in general so i would say no car note me personally unless you already have a car Car note definitely is one of the last things I would add to the top of the bills that you're already going to be paying because you need to get used to it. Just because you make it through the first time does not mean these next 6 months, 8 months, 10 months, 12 months is going to be super easy for you to pay your bills all the time. So I would definitely limit the bills as much as possible. Okay, I'm trying to stay on track and go in order. So um get a job very important it really doesn't matter what kind of job i know people want to like like their jobs and stuff but when you're working toward a goal you kind of need to stay focused and just get it done like i said i worked at a pizza place do you really think i wanted to work at a pizza place where i couldn't wear uh eyelashes i couldn't wear my nose ring i couldn't wear any acrylic nails nothing it was totally not me like at all so um but i worked there why because they hired me and i needed money so i could move out and reach my goals so job check car check avoid a car note as much as you possibly can I, I'm not, I don't like encourage people to just like buy shitty cars, but I mean, if you can hop on Craigslist and find a good enough car for like $1,500, $2,000, it sounds like a lot, but it's really not a lot. If you work a job, it's really not a lot. Save your money, get the car. After you have a car, you're ready to go. Like, all you have to do is save up a little bit more and then you'll be ready to move out. I touched on roommates um so okay when you first move like I said the first month of you moving is going to be the most expensive month you have to pay for moving trucks you have to pay deposits you have to pay activation fees and that's going to be your first time like getting used to really paying your own bills and paying for stuff and it's crazy don't go overboard you don't need every a million channels on cable you know what I'm saying like don't go overboard with the bills make sure that you have the stuff you need and then you can go to like the stuff that you want afterward so yeah what else um other ways I guess to kind of cut the cost hopefully I'm not really missing a lot of stuff in this video but um ways to cut the cost so I when, when I first moved I did not get a moving truck I moved everything in my little ass car and I asked friends who had like pickup trucks to just help me do like one load and I, I the one load was like all of my big stuff and then the rest of the stuff I put in my car but I mean you have to realize you're moving out of one small room that you lived in with your parents to a whole apartment so you're not gonna have enough to fill the apartment anyway you're really not gonna have that much stuff so you probably won't need a moving truck because like I said you're gonna have that car before you try to move out you're not gonna move out without a car okay that's rule number one so well actually it's rule number two after I have a job but yeah so I didn't get a moving truck so that cuts that cost um what else recently i just recently did this i cut my cable down because i don't know about anybody else but i just don't watch tv anymore and i know when i was a kid i used to watch tv so much and nowadays i just don't really watch tv as much so i cut my cable down although i am on a contract she was still able to like knock some stuff off and i just use like you know fire sticks and stuff like that a lot of like internet stream stuff good way to cut your costs cable is kind of expensive um what else don't be afraid when buying furniture to number one take your time do not try to fill up your apartment as soon as possible it doesn't happen it's okay that your apartment is going to be a bit empty unless you have a lot of people buying you stuff and giving you stuff that's perfectly fine except the hand-me-downs you know what i mean and you can replace it over time it took me forever to fill up the first apartment that i lived in uh, 
I didn't have a couch for a while. I didn't have a lot of stuff in that apartment for a while, but I accumulated it over time as opposed to trying to go into the furniture store and blow a bag because it's like you can't afford it. You know what I mean? So it's okay that your apartment is empty. You will get furniture over time. Don't be afraid to accept hand-me-downs, things that your parents may not need anymore. Take all that stuff with you to just get you started. Also, don't be afraid to buy things that are used. I believe all of the TV, well I had the TV that's in my beauty room, I already had that TV, that was a TV that my mom had for me at my house, so she let me take that. The other two TVs that are in my house are both used from Craigslist, Got it. that's a good way to furnish your apartment quickly is to buy things that are used, um, like you know even yard sales and stuff like that. It's way cheaper than trying to go into Best Buy and buy like a TV or buy three TVs or buy four however many bedrooms you have you know what I mean so definitely check out like stuff that's already previously been used it's not that big of a deal it works just the same I have no problem with buying stuff used a lot of the stuff that I got when I first moved was from Craigslist to be honest or like even liquidation sites um, any type of thing like that trust me you can find it just look around if it's not used you can also look for like liquidation or clearance warehouse type of places. I did get a lot of stuff when I first moved from liquidation place such as microwave, toaster, toaster oven, a bunch of stuff like chairs. I got a bunch of stuff from this liquidation place that I found in Las Vegas. So look up liquidation centers in your, in your town or whatever and I'm sure you'll be able to find one if not a website. And they have a bunch of stuff for like super cheap and usually with the warehouses the more stuff you buy you can even get a discount honestly talk to them you know you can haggle with them if I'm buying like six things I can get like some dollars off and that's what I did I bought a bunch of appliances and they knocked off money for me so yeah definitely be cheap during this time save money save money save money be cheap be cheap be cheap like when you're trying to move it's really serious and it's really important that you take it seriously because this is the start of you being an adult and being like actually out on your own and it would suck to fail you know what I mean it's perfectly fine if you end up not being able to you know do it and you move back in with your parents but I mean wouldn't you rather not you know wouldn't you rather be successful at like moving out for your first time and doing everything on your own to me it just makes me feel a lot better um no matter what the situation is but yeah hopefully these are like some pretty good tips um it's difficult honestly um oh also zillow.com i used that place to find the apartment the oh it's not an apartment i used zillow.com to find the condo that i'm in now and it was really helpful so i would say try zillow.com if you're like looking for places in your area um and you can set like your price range you can set like this out of town you want you can set everything up on Zillow so I really liked that and like I said it helps me find the place that I'm in now for a great price everything was great with the place so Zillow.com that I would definitely recommend that also of course you know you can go around your neighborhoods and places and just walk into apartment complexes and they can take you on tours and do stuff like that um that's how I did my first apartment. I just kind of went to the area I wanted to live in and went into different apartments and saw what they had offered, prices, looked at the actual places and stuff like that, and I picked my place. And then once I lived in that place for a year, what happened was they were bumping up the rent, which sometimes they do. And if you want to continue your lease, you can resign or they can do month to month. So that's when I decided to move because I was like, I know I can find something way better for the price that I'm going to be paying. So yeah um hopefully these were some good tips for you guys i it's it's pretty standard of course it's just the same things your mom told you you know save your money be responsible um that's pretty much it i don't really know budgeting you know you got you're gonna learn how to budget when you move out so yeah, if you have specific questions for me, you can leave them down in the description box and I will try my best to answer them all because I didn't know exactly what to touch on in this video. Like I know you guys want to know about moving out, but I mean, I don't know. I know you guys want to know like about how I moved out and stuff, but to me it's pretty basic stuff. Like I got a job, I got a car, 
and I moved out, you know? So, if you guys have specific questions, leave leave a comment or something and hopefully I can help you out a little bit more. Hopefully this video helps. Um, I hope at least you got a little bit of something out of it. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!